Hi guys, welcome to Public Connect Workshop. So in this video, we will learn how to integrate Stripe and Salesforce. Our use case is pretty simple. When a new customer is created in Stripe, it will create a lead in Salesforce. Now Stripe is an online payment processing platform and Salesforce is an excellent CRM tool. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send data from Stripe to Salesforce. But there is one minor problem. The integration between Stripe and Salesforce is actually very limited. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Stripe and Salesforce. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done in two easy steps. Let me show you on my screen. First of all, in your browser, type pabli.com pabli.com press enter and here on the products you will find the option called as connect okay at the bottom you will find the option called as connect click this now click on sign in okay so this is the dashboard of pabli connect as you can see i already have made an account in pabli connect you can build your own account in just two minutes now scroll down and you will find the option called as connect here click on access now now on the right top you will find a button called as create workflow click this so our dialog box appears in front of you it is asking you to give a name to this workflow i am going to give it as stripe to salesforce then click on create when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window here in the choose app let's make it as stripe this one in the choose method since we are interested in adding a customer let's keep it as new customer now new customer is basically a trigger now your obvious question is what is a trigger trigger is a if statement it asks a question if the condition is met what should be done for example if a new customer is created what action should be taken by the system actually there are many more triggers like new charge new refund new plan new invoice item and so on however in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to make but at present i am only interested in uh, the triggering the system when a new customer is made so let's keep it as new customer so what we are essentially trying to do is we are trying to connect stripe to pabli connect so let me show you my stripe account so this is my stripe account and since we are interested in integrating stripe to pabli connect let's go to this part called as developers here you will find the option called as webhooks click this now we are going to click on this button called as add endpoint click this so a window appears in front of you it has a blank called as endpoint url to get the endpoint url just go to pabli connect and copy this this is the endpoint url or the webhook url you want and paste it here but before that let us uh, remove this uh, already mentioned http part and paste it here the description let's keep it as empty the version will remain same and the most important part events to send to get events to send just expand this button so our event is when a new customer is created so let's see whether we have an event called as new customer created so customer yes we have a event called as customer created click this then click on add endpoint okay so the status is showing that it has been enabled so what we have done here is we have connected stripe to public connect now let's see whether public connect can capture any data from stripe so to do that let's go to public connect and click on capture webhook response okay so it is showing that it is waiting for a data so let's go to our stripe and let's create a data so let's make a dummy customer in stripe so to create a dummy customer click on this button called as new so here we are going to fill in some information so the name of this uh, customer let's say is um, jill and the account email is uh, jill ert123 at the rate gmail.com just something random that's all description let's uh, keep the company name actually salesforce wants a company name that is actually a requirement so we are going to add a company name so the company name is uh, let's say uh, Facebook she works in Facebook okay now coming to the billing details in uh, choose a country let's keep it as uh, France that would work okay the address line is uh, 
taken park 123 134 or something address line 2 is uh, random street postal code is uh, 75001 city is uh, paris of course and uh, the phone number um, let's add some phone number 9131323918 or something okay that would do the shipping de details is same as billing details uh, we are not keeping any time zone language let's uh, keep it as French yes currency let's keep it as Swiss franc okay tax status is a uh, taxable and the tax ID let's keep it as nil then click on add customer okay so it's showing that the customer is created so this is the email of the customer and uh, she works in Facebook. So let's see whether Pabli Connect, since now it is integrated with uh, Stripe, has captured this data or not. So let's go and see Pabli Connect. Yes, the data has been captured. So it is uh, showing the address line as a uh, taken park 12134, the line to is random street, the postal code is 75001. And uh, where is the name? Jill, Jill, Jill. This is the email, Jill jillert123 at the rate gmail.com okay here is the name that is jill and this is the phone number so this means that the data has been captured from stripe to public connect now we have to sync this data to salesforce so to do that just click on this plus button when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window here in the choose app let's make it as salesforce this one now in the choose method, since we are interested in creating a lead, let's make it as create a lead. Now create a lead is called as the action. There are many action types other than create a lead like uh, create task, create a note, create a campaign. There are many more update note, update task, update campaign and so on. However, similar like triggers, if you don't find the action of your choice, you can make a request at admin at the rate to build a custom action for you. But uh, at present, we are only interested in creating a lead. So let's keep it as create a lead. Then click on connect with Salesforce. In select your credentials, let's keep it as new credential. In authorize application, just click on connect with Salesforce. Okay, so Pabli Connect is asking access. So let me tell you something. Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% secure with us. So scroll down and click on allow. Okay, so it is showing that the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. Now in the last name, we are going to map in the data that we have received from Stripe via Pabli Connect. So to get the last name, we just have to click on this button. This is called as the mapping button. So we are going to map in the name. So we have actually got the name that is uh, Jill, I think. Okay, where was the name? name? Yes, this is the name. So we have mapped it. The first name, since we have uh, already kept the last name as the first name, we are going to, we are not going to enter anything. The salutation, let's make it as miss. The title, not really necessary. Company, yes, so we had added a company as Facebook. Description as Facebook, okay. The phone number, we have mapped the phone number. Where was it? Where was it? Yes, this is the phone number. Email, yes, we have uh, got the email, so we are going to map it. Yes, this is the email. Website, not really important. Description, not really important. Status, let's keep it as open, not contacted. Rating, let's keep it as hot. Street, we had a street. Yes, random street. The city, city was Paris, I guess. Yes, Paris. The country, is it showing France? Yes, the country is France. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that the data has been sent to Salesforce. So let's check whether in the leads we have a person called as Jill. So let's go to Salesforce leads like this. Yes, we have a person called as Jill. She works in the company Facebook and this is her phone number. Let's uh, expand this. Okay, so this is the data. Miss Jill, Facebook and this is uh, the lead status is showing as open not contacted. So the presence of this lead shows that we have connected Stripe and Salesforce with help of Public Connect. This means anytime a customer is created in Stripe, it will create a lead in Salesforce. But to double check it if the integration is working fine or not, let's make one more dummy customer in Stripe. But before that, before that, let me show you the whole process in a nutshell. Okay.
minimize this okay so this is the whole mechanism in a nutshell first you integrated stripe to public connect then you integrated public connect to salesforce now there is a perfect flow of data between stripe and salesforce so let's make one more customer in stripe okay let's go to new so this time uh, the name is uh, let's say heather and uh, the account email is uh, heather three four five or something something random that's all at the red gmail.com description um, she works in let's say apple apple she works in apple and the country let's say is uh, can we do india okay she works in it she lives in india so the address is uh, e108 ashoka town something the address is uh, near town square the city is uh, bhopal the postal code is 462024 the state is madhya pradesh and uh, the number is uh, 9131323912 the time zone let's keep it as empty language uh, is it showing hindi or something no so let's keep it as english yes we have english currency is it showing rupee inr or something yes indian rupee yes we have it the tax status is it uh, the tax status is a uh, taxable the tax id let's keep it as empty then click on add customer okay so a customer called as heather has been created and she works in apple so let's see whether we have a lead called as heather so let's see our leads yes we have a lead called as heather and she works in this company called as apple and this is her phone number so let's check the lead so yes we have got all the data okay so our integration is working absolutely fine so from now onwards whenever a customer is created in stripe it will be reflected in salesforce not just these two apps you can integrate a plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate pavli dot com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or just visit us at www dot pavli dot com it's awesome thanks